This is my coach, Damna of Wafa SC. And I'm here to recommend you guys to keep it logged at Kofi JC TV on YouTube for all exclusive interviews concerning all upcoming stars in Ghana and beyond. And also the interviews of our stars we celebrate. <music>
Um, yes, I've been chasing a few teams outside. And have you got any response? Um, one or two, but I just need to be careful. Sure, sure. Um, to build your CV, because um, you know that for female players, it's very rare to come by. And most of the foreign teams depend on the CV of the player before they sign. Yeah. And to enrich your CV, you need a national assignment. Have you got any national experience, national team experience? No. Not yet. And your age? Um, Do you think the age is not on your side? The age is on my side. Provided I will work towards it faster before it comes up at me. So, Sat now, no, any, or your performance is below par. No, your personal assess your personal performance. I wouldn't say um, I'm not good enough. I'm, I'm improving. You are improving. Not better. I'm not best. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so can you give us um, um, what's your weakness on the foot of play? Um, on the foot of play, <laughs> my uh, confidence is very low. Your confidence is very low. So what are you doing to improve your confidence? Um, sometimes when I listen to um, negative comments from my teammates, it brings me down. Sometimes I, I feel like, no, I need to do it. I'm not weaker like they thought. So, on the field of play, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, for winning and um, for winning balls like going in for tackles like yeah. 60 percent during the game that's your trademark yes and then giving passes accurate passes like 60 percent so i think 60 percent is so low or is that for the stats yeah, it, it's hundred hundred percent. You can't you can't go that fast. So gradually. Yes. So that's what I want. Meaning sixty percent of both and then passes are great passes and sixty. Okay, uh, um, let's come to Cape Coast Strikers as a whole. In the team, coming all the way from the Volta region to Cape Coast, mingling with so many different culture. How, how, how is the experience? Um, ambitions make you go far. You don't even think of how far you can go, but you will. Coming here, um, I, I never thought I would meet a team or a family as Lady Strikers. But being here so far, it's one of the best things I've been with. It's more um, of a family. Lady Strikers, we are not just a team, we are a family. Being so smallish, don't they bully you? Because I see some of your colleagues being um, with so much height and the rest. You being, don't they bully you? Um, sometimes on the ball. <laughs> if, you, if, you are, if you are too much on the ball, they kick you somewhere. Sometimes they push me somewhere. And I feel because of um, um, how smallish or tiny I am, sometimes I feel very weak when they is it, tackle aggressively. Is it intentional or...? No, nobody will want a tiny player to do good here. <laughs> <laughs> nobody will want that. So, um, knowing very well that they come and are dribble them, they will also come aggressive to win the ball. So, okay. Sometimes it's um, this is a, 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 just a clue that I wish to give you. As um, you said, your elder sister has been managing you. Um, there, are, there are some exposure which can lead you to the national team. Not only performance, because we can see all around. There are so many good players. You can witness that even in your team, there are so many good players. So what do you think you can do extraordinary for you to get the national assignment? Because if there is a national team coach here to pick a player from Lady Strikers, you are not the only player there. So what do you think you can do extraordinary on the field of play for you to catch the eye of many coaches? Um, being commitment, okay. yeah. being committed to the game, to training, every, and then being disciplined. It's one of the major um, facts a footballer needs to involve in. 
being disciplined. So sometimes you don't need to play so much for the coach to see the best in you. The discipline and being committed to the game makes um, eyes. As being bullied, do you think you are you are that committed? Uh, 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 um, let's say in terms of respect. Oh yeah. Discipline aspect. Very disciplined. Are you sure? <laughs> I am. Because uh, um, since they've been bullying you, it will automatically lead you to. Yeah. Sometimes I get mad. <laughs> I get. I, I be like, oh coach, this is a foul ball. But they'll be like, hey, young boy, let's play. So I follow up with the young boy and then let's play. play that. Okay. What are you telling those back home? The voter, the votarians. I hope. Um, they'll be watching us. Yeah, I'll tell them that football isn't a, a game for the men. It's equally for the women. Okay, a woman need to chase her dream, be on top of her game, stand up for herself, and then be in power. That's all. They should come out. No, no keeping of uh, talent, God-given talent, for the fear of the public or um, um, being bullied that women can't play football. Women needs to be in the kitchen. No. Can you speak your native language? Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Okay. Um, as this is a nationwide uh, um, interview, I would like you to use your own language to tell the people, to tell your fans, to say something to your fans in the water region. Um, Thank you for having you on the show. Uh, this is where time will permit us. Uh, we had an interview with um, one of the lady strikers with the name Bensley. Bensley. All the way from water region to Kepos. If God permits, next week, same time, let's meet on Coffee Jesse TV. I'm your host, Nuhu Ahmed. Thank you.